So in this example, let's see how all the theory for elliptic loom works. So in the, we're going to consider this example. Assume there is a small plane, has a wing, uh, wing platform area. Uh, so you know this is your S. It has a span of uh, 28 feet, so this is your B. It, cruz it cruises at an altitude uh, at 300 miles per hour. Note that we need to convert this to feet per second. Um, and uh, and has a weight of W. Assume uh, it's elliptic loading and we want to find a coefficient of lift. We want to find all these cases, okay? So let's start the first thing. First of all, let's assume your CL. And, and again, you may want to take a snapshot of this, a screenshot and, and just use it, that's fine. Um, the first thing you want to know, this is what we want to find. Okay, the equation for this is L over one half rho infinite uh, V infinite squared times S. Now, we, if we assume that it's a level flight, it's a very good assumption uh, for a level flight. If you assume that's level flight, L is equal to W, in that case, that will equal to 5,000 pounds. Okay, so um, second thing, we know what your S is. S is 100 feet square. That's given in the problem. Now, at a altitude of 20,000 feet, we need to find what your row is. You can go to the tables. And if we go to the tables, you find that um, you find that this gives you 0 0.00126732121. Watch out for units. I need these units to be slug times feet Q. You may have to convert that if you don't have it. Okay, so, uh, so I have this, I got this, I got this, and the velocity given in my problem was 300 miles per hour. A simple conversion of that is 88 feet per second divided by 60 miles per hour. That would give you 440 feet per second. Okay, so now I replace everything in here. 5,000, one half, point zero zero one two one seven three two one. This is 4440 uh, squared, uh, 150, and this gives you a total uh, coefficient of 0.27. Remember, only two units, okay? That's how we give these values, okay? So the second question you asked for is find these, uh, uh, got, uh, your circulation at the center line. Uh, to find the circulation of center line, we know that this is equal to 2CLS V infinite pi B. So this is equal to 407 uh, feet squared second. If you replace all the values in there, that's what you will get. Uh, number three, you asked what is the uh, circulation at six feet from the wingtip. So I got my airplane uh, and we want to be from the wingtip, wingtip from here to here, six feet. So uh, my total wingspan my total wingspan is, change colors, uh, my total wingspan here is 28. So from here to here, the distance would be eight, uh, would be 14. So the distance that we are really looking at is y is equal to eight feet. But that's, remember everything is measured from the root. So that's the case, then this is equal to gamma sub zero, square root of one minus two yb squared, 
this gives you 407 square root of 1 minus 2 multiplied by 8 uh, divided by uh, 28 squared. This whole thing gives you a value of 3, 3, 4 feet squared second. Okay. Now you want the downwash velocity. Uh, to find your downwash velocity is very easy. So the equation for downwash velocity is minus uh, to the zero B. That gives you minus 407. 2 divided by 28. That gives you minus uh, minus 27.27 feet second. Uh, feet second. Uh, item 5, you ask for the total induced drag in the problem. Uh, the total induced drag is given by this, one half rho s v squared cdi. Uh, we got this, we got this, and we got this. Uh, so the only thing that's missing here is to find this for this problem. This is given the induced drag pi uh, re. Let's assume that this is uh, equal to 1 in our problem. So if I plug in the values, I find this is equal to 0 0.0045. This is 45 counts. Remember, four decimal digits. So then this is equal to 1 half. Um, this is 0 0.0012. Uh, six seven. This is four four zero uh, squared. Hundred and fifty point zero zero forty five would give you eighty two point seventy pounds. Okay. And the very last question is: Give me the induced drag, uh, the angle of the induced drag. Um, the angle of the induced drag is given by the following equation. Uh, the angle of CI is equal to CL pi divided by AR. Um, and that's going to equal to 0 0.01653. Okay. Um, and you may ask where I got this expression from. You can derive it yourself. Just save some time here. This is the induced angle of attack. This is your V infinite. This is the downwatch velocity. So this is uh, tangent inverse of W over V infinite, approximately equal to W over V infinite. And you express this is uh, uh, gamma sub zero to pi. This is uh, V infinite. And if you uh, replace the value for gamma sub zero in there, um, then you can basically show that the whole expression gives you CL pi AR. Okay, so this uh, this problem is uh, if you wanted the total angle of attack, a total drag, then you would need uh, the dynamic pressure, you would need the CDI, you would need to know CD sub zero, and you would need to know CD of the form, okay? And that this comes from, uh, this comes from plots where you will find the minimum value right here, and this will come from the tables I gave you where CD sub zero, uh, you know, your CD is given from there, and this is from this, you know, from, from your, uh, this comes from a CL, and this will come from the tables itself, tables that I gave you. Okay, so this concludes uh, the last example of the course.